Hey friends, it is a special day. I am teaching you one of my favorite poi tricks of all time. In fact, one that I'm sure a lot of people in my audience think I overuse. That's right, today we're learning the corkscrew. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, teaching you poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, we are taking our poi into horizontal land. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So today is a super special day because uh, it is the first time in the almost month and a half that we've been doing these lessons now that we have played around with a poi trick that works on a horizontal plane. This of course is the third major planar orientation that poi can be on. Um, we in our first week played around a lot with wheel plane where we have the poi spinning on either side of our body like wagon wheels. We also played around with wall plane where we keep the poi directly in front of our body in such a way that the planes of the poi are almost like a wall between us and the audience. Um, but we hadn't discussed anything yet about this other plane. Um, we usually call this either horizontal plane or floor plane, and I don't think it's a stretch to say that it is the least used uh, planar orientation for poi tricks. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, after I learned the corkscrew, I don't think I learned a single other horizontal plane poi trick for probably a good five or six years, which um, nowadays it's one of my favorite kinds of uh, poi tricks to play around with and everything, and uh, I'm looking forward to passing that on to you all. Okay, so let's start off with the basics here. Um, some of you out there that are uh, particularly keen-eyed will recognize that when we are doing a corkscrew here, it's not that terribly different from what's going on when we're performing a weave. Um, granted, the weave doesn't have as many beats. It's a lot closer to these tic-tacs that we learned back during our uh, week when we were playing around with reels and everything. Uh, but it does still have that kind of uh, same architecture where we have the poi spin once uh, on one side of a surface and once on the other side of the surface, right? Um, you can think of it as literally being a tic-tac that we just like stuck over onto its side. So just to start with, I want you all to just practice doing that. Taking that idea of uh, spinning the poi once above your hand and once below your hand. Once above, once below once above, once below. It is highly likely that you're going to discover that in order to make that uh, beat of the poi above your hand work out, you're probably going to have to bend your elbow and make sure that your hand stays above your shoulder. I would honestly say that the butter zone for this is keeping your hand at about eye level, if not higher. If you can do that, it is less likely that you're going to clock your elbow as you're coming around here and everything, right? Um, it also helps to change the orientation of your hand as you're doing so. You want to imagine that you're going back and forth between thumbs up and thumbs down, thumbs up and thumbs down. So part of the trick here is that you are going to have to make sure that you practice doing this with both hands and that both hands are spinning the poi in the same direction. Uh, one way you can do a quick check on this is just to get the poi spinning in a horizontal plane above your head and look straight up and see what the direction is. For me, it's clockwise. So once I put my right hand down, I wanna go ahead and get my left hand above my head and spin it around clockwise as well, yeah? Now, with that information in place, I wanna go ahead and with my left hand, spin it clockwise above and then below above and then below. This is actually a really great way that you can also visualize how the direction of the poi changes depending upon what side of it you happen to be on, because it's going to look like you're doing clockwise above and counterclockwise below. Clockwise above, counter below, going back and forth, yeah? So go ahead and do 10 horizontal tic-tacs with your right hand and 10 horizontal tic-tacs with your left hand, making sure that both of them are clockwise from above and counterclockwise from below as you're going back and forth like this. Okay, now let's take the business end of this and start putting the two hands together. Uh, the poi are gonna be in split time, same direction horizontally as you're doing this. And unfortunately, there's not a lot that we've done thus far that is uh, really going to prepare you for that. It feels just a little bit like a windmill, 
kind of sort of not really um, you could almost imagine that like if you took your windmill and kind of leaned forward with it and everything you would kind of wind up in a place where you were doing a corkscrew um, and that actually might be a technique that will work for some of you but there's another technique that I'm much more fond of giving people for learning this move so I've got kind of a weird visual for this, but I hope you'll stick with me here. Um, imagine that you're going to like comb your hair on the left side of your head. It, it, it's weird, but stick with me here. You're gonna start with both of your poi down in front of you, yeah? And I want you to imagine that as you comb your hair, it's not just that you're combing your hair, but you're also kind of like giving yourself a nice slick little mm, head check with that and everything, yeah? So that's gonna involve making sure that your elbow goes up to the point that your hand can pass above, behind, and then back out. Think that your hand is going up the left side of your head, around back behind and back out in front. And it has to do this in such a way that uh, the elbow is above it almost the entire time. You wanna make sure that your forearm cannot run into your head, yeah? So think up on the left, around behind and back down. We're gonna do that first with the right hand, thinking up on the left, around behind and back down. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the left hand. Up on the left, around behind, right side, back down. Again with the right, around the head, back down, again with the left, around the head, and back down. It's so important that for each hand, you're thinking left side, behind, right side, yeah? Again, left, behind, right, down with the right hand, left, behind, right, down with the left hand. Okay, so the next step of this is that our hands are gonna get just a little bit restless. Um, and what I mean by that is that only one of them can be down at any given time. That is this position that I have right here where both hands are down, we don't get to do that anymore. So if I go up and around with my right hand, then when it comes down, I have to move my left hand. When the left hand comes down, I gotta move the right hand. In other words, I always have one hand that is moving, no matter what, yeah? So now I want you to keep track in your head of a little mnemonic device. Think right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Thinking in that rhythm, yeah? That is gonna be what's gonna guide your hands for this next step. You're gonna think right and left. You're gonna think right and left, right and left, right and left. That is, when you say the name of the hand, it's gonna start moving. Thinking right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. This is gonna help you speed up to start getting that corkscrew down. So if right and left, right and left is feeling comfortable for you, I want you to try just speeding up your hands and see if you can keep those poi pointed straight out away from your hands at all time. And guess what? If you've gotten this far, you are now doing a corkscrew. Congratulations. All right, so let me show you that in slow-mo from a couple different angles then. Awesome. We're gonna have so much fun with this. Or at least I will. We'll see if y'all are as into them as I am. Show me your corkscrews. I wanna see them, uh, pretty please. Uh, post videos of yourself doing these tricks that I'm teaching on uh, Instagram or Facebook and make sure to tag me. I am DrexFactor on Instagram and DrexFactorPoi on Facebook. And of course, if you wanna jump on ahead, you can always sign up for my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar course uh, over on my website at DrexFactor.com. It's totally free. You just need to give me your email address and it will start sending you lessons uh, every few 
days. And uh, best of all, in each of those emails, there's a little link where you can download each and every one of those video lessons so you can go through them at your own pace. And of course, I have a favor to ask of all of you, and that is to like, share, and subscribe. The reason for this is all of these actions help these videos get to a wider audience. And when that happens, we get more people that are out there flowing, which makes me really happy. And when all of this craziness is done, it means that we're gonna have an entirely new world full of Flowmies to go out there and play with. I'm looking forward to that, aren't you? Now, if these videos are helping you out, if they are giving you something to do when you otherwise would be going stir crazy, if they are helping you to relearn your fundamentals after thinking that you already knew this poi thing, if they're giving you a new means of teaching poi, or if they're helping you start from scratch, please consider supporting this project over on Patreon, like all these nice folks did. Um, this, literally the donations that people are giving me through Patreon is what is keeping this channel alive right now. And um, I am really enjoying this project and I hope you are really enjoying it too. If you would like to sign up to support it, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You'll get early access to all of my content, a vote in topics that I pursue in the future, as well as some nice extra stuff too. Sometimes it'll be behind the scenes stuff, sometimes it'll be alternate takes on things. Uh, but either which way, uh, I do think it's worth it, so you should go check that out, please and thank you. All right, so tomorrow um, I actually have a flow video that's going up, so uh, I will be back on Thursday with another lesson for you all that uh, is going to be very, very helpful in the coming weeks. And is another one of those things that it's kind of like, you know, a uh, base motor skill and everything for poise spinning, and it's not always that glamorous, but um, you will definitely find that it is going to be the answer to several questions that you don't even know that you have yet. So I will see you then.